Hey guys and welcome to my new video. Uh, this is a short or maybe not so short setup video of my general gaming setup and I think let's first start off with my PC. Um, yeah, just to say this is my first English um, setup, my, English, my first English video on this channel I think. And uh, yeah, of course my English is not that perfect. Um, I'm giving my best but yeah, I'm from Germany and uh, yeah, I'm still practicing. So, uh, yeah, let's start off with my PC. It's right there. Uh, I hope you can see everything. Um, I hope the light is enough. The uh, sun is shining, but yeah, I hope everything is okay. So, uh, this is here my microphone. Um, this is a T Bone SC um, 450 USB, I think. That's the correct name. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you don't hear anything or um, or maybe don't understand the right name. Uh, everything is in the description below. Uh, I will put it there. Um, maybe not if the video is just uploaded for some minutes, but yeah, give me some time and then all the names of the devices and technical stuff uh, will be written there. And yes, so let's start off with my PC. Um, it's pretty standard design. The case is a fractal design defined R4, R4, <laughs> and um, I like these cases. Um, as you can see, there is no uh, LED flashing, no no LED case. Um, I like this this standard black design. Um, yeah, it's just simple, and I like this this clean and simple design. Uh, before I had a Shakun T28 um, with some green LEDs in the front, but uh, after some time it it really pissed me off, and then I decided to get a new case. And yeah, this this is a new case. I'm really happy with this case because it's really solid. Uh, it's not that expensive, about 100 bucks. But uh, it has some really cool features, cool f cool functionality. You can put like uh, every hardware in it you want. Um, yeah. So wow. Okay, here's some some dust. I think I need to clean it up soon. But <laughs> uh, yeah, still have some time. Uh, so here you can open it up a bit more, and there you see even more dust. Uh, yeah. So I have to clean it. Um, in the front I modded it a bit, so there's uh, um, HDD uh, normally, but I put in uh, NZXT Kraken or Kraken X60 there, so uh, water cooling for the CPU. Um, yeah, I had to put put out the HDD devices. I show you wait in a minute, so everything right there. This was uh, on the bottom of the case. Uh, put it out because else the um, water cooling had had no space. Uh, yeah. So normally the NZXT Kraken X60 will not fit in the case but uh, I wanted to fit in there because the case is just perfect for me and yeah I I did some stuff with a thumb screw and yeah, it, now it works pretty well. Uh, I just got no uh, HDD cave anymore, but um, it, it it doesn't matter really much. Uh, I just I just will I, I will I will put the HDD in the second uh, disk drive here. So right now it's just laying on the floor, but uh, yeah, it's not not that not that good. But for for so for some time it's it's okay. Uh, yeah, so the water cooling is right there. I can show you a bit more closely in some minutes, uh, but let's close it up for this time. So yeah, um, what is inside the PC? Um, I will show you also, and of course I will tell you. So on top, let's first start off with that. On top, I got two uh, fans. Uh, be quiet, pure. No, not not pure power. This is a. <laughs> this is not. Uh, <coughs> these are just fans and not power supplies. Uh, so be quiet. Um, Silent Wings Two. Yes, I think that's the right name. Uh, these are just 
really silent. So uh, the name uh, says it all. Be quiet, Silent Wings 2. Perfect. They do their work. I don't hear them and just perfect. Uh, they cost about 20 bucks each. Um, it's it's a bit expensive and there are um, fans which cost way less than this but uh, I, I really like Be Quiet. It's, um, it's a German mark, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and they do really quality stuff and yes, that's why I buy them. Okay, let's open up the case. I hope I can do it with just one hand, uh, but I will try. Or maybe, maybe let's let's first power this thing up or not. Um, I don't know. Okay, uh, I will open this thing up and then I'm back in about two minutes. Okay, I'm back. The case is ready to open it. Oh, maybe yes, it is. Okay. So here we got uh, some stuff on it. Um, there we can install another fan. Um, yeah, I still let it stick to that because I have no fan for this. Maybe I will install install s uh, a fan soon, but yeah, I'm I'm not sure yet. So yeah, let's see. Um, also, uh, this is also a dimmed a dimmed case, as you can see. Um, I think the material is called Batumen or, or, or Bitumen, maybe, yes. <laughs> um, I'm just talking some German-English stuff right now, but... Uh, yeah. Excuse me that I'm not used to uh, make English videos and yeah, this is my first English video, so... That's why I use some German words like Ach so und <laughs> instead of and. Okay, um, let's go on. Uh, the glowing thing, there is the water, the water cooler. Uh, there you can see the glowing NZXT logo. Uh, it's, yeah, I think it looks really sick. Um, with a closed case, of course, you can't see it just from the top a bit, there. Um, but, yes, uh, the CPU stays pretty cool. Um, I got an Intel Core i7 uh, 3930K. Yes, so uh, 2011 socket, um, and I overclocked it to right now. Uh, let me think. I think it is 4.6 or 4.4 gigahertz right now. Uh, I I have no idea right now, but I think. I I clocked it to 4.4 now because uh, I don't really need it 4.6 and of course uh, the power consumption is pretty high there so yeah I think 4.4 but uh, we will see uh, in some minutes I will also turn this thing up later um, <clears throat> the next thing here you can see is the RAM here two th slots and here two slots um, I can increase it by four DRAMs and four, so eight, eight RAM slots uh, in the total of I think 64 gigabyte. Yes. Uh, so right now I got uh, 32 Corsair Vengeance Black uh, CL10. So the latency is uh, 10. Uh, no, it's it's not 10. It's CL10, but that's the latency. You know what I mean. Um, and it's uh, 1866 megahertz um, so it's it's pretty solid RAM not really high clocked but uh, 1866 is, is also pretty good and now the RAM prices are pretty high so uh, I made a pretty good deal with 150 bucks uh, or euros for the RAMs uh, that's pretty good for the time now um, Okay, we got CPU, we got, we got the RAM, the water cooler. Ah, oh, right, right there it is. Uh, here is the NZXT Kraken X60. You might not see it pretty well, but it is there. <laughs> Just in front here, you can see the, the cooling cables where the water is going through. Just in this thing here. And there you can see the HD just laying on the floor uh, on this... Um, 
yeah, on, on this case. Uh, that, that's a Seagate. Uh, maybe you can see it. Seagate Barracuda Green. 1.5 terabytes. Um, I will get another one, but um, I will get a Western Digital Red hard drive because the red ones are for servers and for 217 uh, users. And my PC is, yeah, it's it's not like 24/7 on, but. Um, sometimes I don't turn it off for like seven days or one week and it just <laughs> it just stays on uh, of course uh, the power consumption there and yeah it's pretty high and uh, yeah so you should better turn your PC off it's also a bit high price on the um, yeah, you you know what I mean. It costs a lot of money. So, um, graphics card, of course, you can see it here a bit. The this is a Asus GTX 680. Um, this is the top line product of the 680s. So this is a Direct CU2 top edition. Yes, um, it's a triple slot design. Uh, you can't see the see the fans really but wait I, I maybe I can show you or maybe you can see it but the light is too too bad but yeah here you can see it a bit here's the fan um, yeah but this graphics card still looks pretty sick and it's not that loud so um, if it's on 100% then of course it is a bit loud because it's a 680 and yes but um, just in in uh, idle or in, in, in Windows layout it's nearly silent and uh, I, I pretty like it and I maybe will upgrade it to a GTX Titan because I really like single, uh, single GPUs uh, the multi GPUs still have some problems with um, how to say it in English uh, micro ruckler uh, micro I don't know so some micro frames that are missing uh, maybe you know what I mean if not then uh, <laughs> then, then, then then you can ask it in the, uh, in the comments below and uh, I will google the the word for that I don't really know it but yes, <clears throat> let's just go on. So graphics card Asus GDX 680 Direct CU2 Top Edition. Um, the main board, the main board. I forgot the main board. The main board is an Asus. Maybe, well, wait, you can see it. Yeah, maybe uh, an Asus Sabertooth X79 uh, board. And this board is just really sick. I just like it. Um, it's really just high quality and yeah you can install two or maybe three graphics card graphic cards uh, I don't know I, I think I think two yes may, maybe two but uh, in most cases I will just need one GPU slot maybe in the future I will get a second one if the problem with the micro things uh, is solved but yeah for now just one GPU maybe a GTX Titan in the future if I have uh, enough money because that thing costs about I don't know 900 to 1000 bucks and that's a bit uh, too high the price so um, that's it the power supply is yeah maybe the the worst thing uh, in my PC it's a Lepa um, G uh, 750 watts. Um, it's not that good. It has it has gold. Uh, how to say it? Um, gold efficiency. Yes. So 80 plus gold. But it's not that silent, and that's why I will upgrade to um, uh, how's that that brand called? Um, I think it's some, some something with S. I, I have no idea, but it's Platinum Series um, with 1,000 watts or maybe 860. Um, I just I'm just missing the brand name. 
It's C no Seasonic, yes, Seasonic I think. Maybe, maybe it's that. Uh, okay, but that is my PC in general. Uh, I think it's pretty powerful. Uh, of course I can play all games with it, uh, no problem. And um, I'm just still not happy with it. Yeah, in the future I will maybe upgrade to a more silent GPU, like the GTX Titan. Uh, I, will, I will get a bigger case, like the Corsair 900D. Uh, but yeah, it all costs a lot of money and I don't have that much money and yeah, but there will be uh, a lot of um, next setup videos also in English I think and yeah, I'm just upgrading it part to part and that's gonna take some while but doesn't matter uh, So right now I got uh, how many fans in it? Two on the top, one in the... F uh, no, two in the front and one in the rear so five in... Uh, five, yes, I think, yeah, okay, five fans, yes, I have no other, just the GPU, of course, another two, but yes, that, that's it, or maybe I can just leave it off for now, okay, um, there is my PC, I can turn it on right now, there you can see everything is working properly, the red LED is just flashing all the time, so, all the time if I start the PC there's another it just controls the RAM and the graphics card and all the other stuff so let's get to the monitors um, because the video is just <laughs> it's just going to take forever to do this video uh, and of course to upload it so uh, wait just fix the lens here uh, so the first monitor is my gaming uh, and yes this is Emma Stone <laughs> mm. of course Emma Stone so the first monitor is my like gaming monitor. It's from Acer. Uh, it's Acer 24SLH some, something like that. Uh, I don't really know the correct name right now because yeah, I have no idea. This is a pretty outdated model, but you can see it in the in the description. Um, <coughs> it's very thin, so I, I really liked it. It's just about I don't know. 10 millimeters, 11, 12 millimeters, about about that size. So like a bit smaller than my thumb here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a TN panel. Um, I think with with two milliseconds reaction time, so it's perfect for gaming. Colors are pretty nice, but not as good as the other monitor. You can see it maybe on the on the picture. This is a lot uh, warmer. This has a bit um, colder display, okay? You know what I mean. Um, here it looks a, a bit, a bit better, but maybe not natural, okay? You know what I mean. Uh, this this picture is maybe a bit more natural, <coughs> and maybe this looks like as it should be. So um, maybe what is uh, also interesting? I just realized that I also that I only say maybe but yeah <laughs> sorry for that uh, so it is also important or maybe it is interesting to see my internet connection and of course we can just do a test right now um, it's not that good right now because I will get a better internet connection soon um, but yes let's first test this uh, so, uh, nicht ach so. <laughs> the second uh, monitor is um, a Samsung, and I forgot the name. Okay, this is my internet connection. It's pretty okay. The download is uh, enough. It's like 50 Mbit download and about 2.5 megabit upload. Yeah, 14 milliseconds ping. It's also not that bad. It's it's okay. So yeah, that's my connection. Maybe not, not the best result because like now is everyone here in the house in the internet and yeah, it's still not the full connection. I sometimes get 40, uh, no, 53 megabit download and 2.5 upload. But yeah, uh, I also forgot the name of the second monitor, Samsung. Ah no no no, there it is. There it is. I hope you can see it. There you can also see me a bit. Uh, this is a Syncmaster T250 HD, no 240 HD, sorry. 
Uh, yeah, both of them have a resolution of... No, wait, not. Uh, both of them have full HD, but this one... No, this, this is... So Acer S232HL, this is the name, I think it's correct. And this has a resolution of full HD, so 1920 by 1080. And this one has a resolution, resolution of... Uh, 920 by uh, 12, so 1200. Uh, because this is a 16 by 10 monitor, and this is by this is a 16 by 9. That's why this is meant uh, to be used for gaming, and this is for like browsing the web and have a bit more space on the top to work a bit more efficient on like yeah, Word documents, Excel, and all that stuff. So, that's it from my monitors, everything is perfect, soon I will also upgrade it to like a 2K monitor, but these are just not very cheap right now, so I have to wait a bit. Um, and also, can, also you can hear the PC is not that loud, so right now it's really silent, so you can't say that, it's only, that it is uh, loud. And here comes cold air right now. And if I play some games, then of course there comes the hot air. Okay, uh, this is my keyboard. Got some some protection on there. And this is uh, Razer Black Widow Ultimate. Um, yeah, the Ultimate is just glowing. I really like the glowing thing because. Uh, most of the time I play in the night, so on the weekend and Saturday night or something, if I'm not going outside with my friends or something, then of course it's always dark and I like the I like the glowing key keys. And of course the sound is a bit um maybe at first it is a bit annoying but um, if you work it, if you work with it for like some weeks or maybe just just some days, then uh, you can't really <laughs> say that it is bad. Uh, you you really get used to it fast, and it's just it's just a great feeling to type on that on that keyboard. Okay, you can type really fast. You can uh, it, it is a great type feeling. <clears throat> so that's why I bought this keyboard even if it's a bit more expensive, about 130 bucks. This is a 2012 edition. Uh, yeah, so blue lights, uh, 2013 edition has some green lights going on, I think. Yeah, okay, that's it. So perfect keyboard, I will not upgrade this. I'm just happy with a, me uh, with a mechanical keyboard. Just perfect for me. And let's go on with my mouse. This is a uh, there, Rocket Cone Plus. You can see it, I hope. Uh, wow, there you can also see the laser there. <laughs> the funny thing is uh, that you can't see the laser. This is just uh, for the camera. Only the camera can see this laser. It has some something to do with, uh, something to do <laughs> has something to do with uh, uh, with the eyes and yeah I can't really explain it in in German but uh, uh, no not in German in English uh, but you have some 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 seeing I don't know angles no so it, it's in the nanometers section and you can't see this uh, this this Wellen Wellendenge egal <laughs> whatever so uh, Rocket Com Plus, this is uh, really nice. I can show you some features right now. The video is yeah a bit longer than I thought, but doesn't matter. So uh, for example, I got some music here. No, not here. Wait. Oh come on. So here, some music doesn't matter. Um, let's play some Left Boy. I like Left Boy. Maybe you do also. So. Uh, oh no, no, we, we have to play all. Wait, I hope this is not music which is copyright. Which, yeah, okay. It's it's pretty... It's pretty low, okay. Um, 
And right now we are on the music side. Okay, uh, so I got some nice, pretty nice boxes here, uh, pretty nice speakers, and of course a subwoofer. So that's that's where my music is coming from. But right now is it is turned off. So let's wait till it turns on. Yes, right now. Now it's turning on. Yes, uh, so it's from Teufel. Teufel is also uh, a German brand, I think from Berlin, so the capital city here. Um, and let's search some music which is not uh, from with the, with this, which is not from any copyright brand like Warner Bros. Music or something. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, this is not. Copyrighted. <coughs> and you can hear the sound is just amazing. Or maybe you can't hear because the microphone on the camera is pretty shit, but yeah. But the bass is just incredible. So this little thing here is just insane. Teufel Concept Concept E Power Edition. They can see the Center, sub, front, main, mute, power, volume plus, power edition. Yeah, and this thing is just really nice. Teufel is a pretty good brand, and it also it also looks very sick. Okay, this this is just a random beat here, right, right there. Okay, uh, but what I wanted to show you with the mouse. Now I can uh, switch with with some uh, key bindings. I don't know. Um, I just can switch the titles here with the mouse. Uh, you can configure it uh, yourself where you can do it. But I said it that I can switch the music easily with just two mouse uh, two mouse clicks. And yeah, so I really like the mouse. Uh, not very many buttons but a lot of functionality and it's yeah it just it just looks really sick I have to say this tiger here is just also very sick looking and I also like the lights there yeah and I think that's it here I got my phone Galaxy S2 uh, pretty pretty old yeah but uh, I think it's it's enough you, you don't need like the Galaxy S4 or something. Uh, I'm still happy with uh, this one here. Galaxy S2, it's it's not that uh, big because I don't want a, a big screen on my smartphone. Um, this is really big enough. So it's like 4 inches, 4.2 inches, I don't have, I have no idea. And, and of course it's also pretty thin so I'm really happy with it. Uh, next to it we got the Google Nexus 10. Here you can see me a bit, <clears throat> and I just got this recently. I uh, bought it about two weeks ago, and this is for me. It is the best. It is the best tablet, and yeah, it has the best resolution. Even the iPad uh, doesn't have like this crazy resolution. And this tablet has about 300 ppi, yes, I think, 300 or 299, something about that. So Google Nexus 10, it's uh, made from Samsung, there you can see it, Nexus from Samsung. Uh, yeah, so I use this for like watching films, movies, online, <laughs> from Movie2K and other 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 websites. Uh, this is a remote control for the subwoofer. Also very nice. Um, yeah, I think we're done with the general PC setup right now. So this is right now we're coming to the Xbox setup. Uh, here I got my Astro A40. Also just very sick headset. I really like it. It's it's perfect. Um, even if you if you do like a 10 hour gaming session 
um, these will not hurt your uh, your ears or your head they are just very these are very soft things and very comfortable uh, yeah some games Halo 4, Halo 3, ODST uh, I don't like ODST I just play the Halo 3 multiplayer um, where is it? yeah new, new multiplayer but I, th I don't think that is written here yeah but it is it, a full Halo 3 multiplayer campaign with all uh, maps so that's why I bought it and Halo 4 I don't like Halo 4 uh, yeah of course I just bought it I'm a big Halo fan but right now I'm just playing Halo 3 or still playing Halo 3 okay uh, my Xbox is right there on this box there in the in the edge is a really old PC I'm just um, I'm just sometimes using it it, it still works um, I switched the CPU and stuff uh, I'm just I'm just working it if I'm bored or something so yeah here's my Halo Xbox nice Halo skin it's the old premium edition with like uh, 20 gigabytes of storage I think yes um, here the Astro A40 adapter, the, the, the sound card, sound device, the mix amp. I think that's the right, the right way to call it. Uh, of course, uh, HD PVR right there. It's also the old HD PVR. I see no reason to upgrade it to an HDR uh, 2 because it has, yeah, like nothing new. Uh, on top of that is my network, my, my TP link. Um, there I get my internet from. Uh, because I have a really long LAN cable right here, which goes like 15 meters <laughs> in the router. Uh, in the router, router, I have, I have no idea. And then in this little thing, and and here I plugged in my Xbox, my uh, PC and some other stuff so yeah it's also very clean now I have no cables on the floor every cables are there nobody can see it really just if you're laying on the floor or something so it's it's pretty it's pretty tidy uh, in my opinion uh, yeah but but I like it and this is also a bit hidden you don't see the Xbox at first if you just yeah, look. If you just look closely, then you can see it. Okay, I think that's it. Headset, S two A forty. As I said, I will put every single technical stuff in the description. Uh, it will take some time. Uh, maybe I will also write down the prices, but I have no idea. I don't uh, want to be like. Uh, what is the word for that? I have no idea. So uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to show how much money I have uh, because these things are pretty old so most of the things are pretty old and I get like I buy like one technical thing every two months so uh, this, is, this is not collected in like one month or something this is collected over years so I'm not rich or something and I don't want to give you the idea that I'm rich. Okay, uh, I forgot something. This is my chair. Pretty nice. Real uh, leather and just recently got it as a present from my parents. Also very nice. Um, and I think I will use this one for the rest of my life because it was pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and here on my bed, camera bag, not very interesting. Uh, my notebook, I just use that for office things, Excel, Word, for school most of the time. A pretty old thing, they can see me again. Uh, it's pretty okay. But nothing special, the graphics card just sucks, so it's really just for the office work and for the business things. Uh, has an i5, I think. Yes, an i5. Um, 400 a bit unsharp 460m I think 
5.3 gigahertz so yeah just normal notebook it was pretty uh, cheap that's why I bought it and I just use it for school and maybe if I watch some films but yeah the tablet is better for watching films has a better resolution a much better resolution uh, headphones these are also pretty pretty old Sennheiser I have no idea where that brand is coming from maybe also Germany I have no idea uh, but these are the HD uh, 458 yes maybe it is written here somewhere I have no idea uh, let's see no I don't think it is written somewhere here but they are pretty good uh, about 80 euros uh, I use it for notebook tablet PC so that's my general general headphones okay I think that's it PC monitors uh, all the other technical stuff here that's that's my gaming setup uh, the the third screen is just um, used for the Xbox gaming because for some reason I can't play on the full HD resolution I don't know but my aiming is pretty fucked up there so uh, wait I wanted to show you uh, how much gigahertz I have now so wait so here again the Teufel 5.1 speaker setup maybe not the best way to set it to set it up but uh, yeah I found no other way I have no space here in my room so I had to put them on my desk uh, so wait where I have it CPU Z X64 and I think then we can see what is my clock ah yes uh, so I got 4.4 gigahertz uh, and we can also see the temperature I don't want to miss anything so if you have any questions it doesn't matter uh, what it is just uh, write it in the comments uh, I can answer them in German and English of course uh, and I have to say again my English you hear it is not perfect because I'm not uh, used to do videos in English uh, but I think with, with, with the time it's getting better and my next setup video will also be better so yeah give me some time and then I can practice <coughs> okay so right now the CPU is on 40 degrees 40 degrees Celsius not that warm it's it's pretty okay and under load we can do it under load wait 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 uh, bum, 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 bum. under load under load where well, I got this program prime 95 yes there it is prime 95 uh, let's see the task manager I just press these uh, three buttons here and then the task manager is coming there you can see all the 12 threads hyper uh, 32 gigs RAM <laughs> has a lot of space I know <clears throat> okay let's do the blend test there you can see CPU just bumps up to 100% load I still can play games like Diablo 3 that's no problem the CPU is just a monster overclocked to 4.4 plus gigahertz I also clocked it to 5 gigahertz uh, but yeah that's a bit ago I also did a video of that I could do it stable 24 7 but I think it's not that healthy for the CPU so it doesn't matter uh, yeah we're still 4.4 gigahertz that's not faking here multiply by 44 and the temperatures are like yeah nearly 60 if I do this a bit longer then uh, they reach about 66 or 67 degrees so still still very cold uh, it's it's all right so the TD uh, no the uh, the T TG something so the maximum the max the maximum temperature the CPU can reach is about 90 so uh, 
67 is still a pretty good pretty good temperature temperature okay uh, that's it I end this test right now uh, and exit okay so if you have any questions just write it down in the comments this is this is my setup in general again from a wider from a wider angle of view so that's it uh, I hope you like it I hope my English was not that bad and uh, yeah I hope I see you soon in the next setup video because I'm still upgrading a lot of things like the screens some of the things in my PC yeah so I have to upgrade a lot of things um, if you're interested in technical stuff in PCs for a budget of uh, like I don't know 500 600 euros then just subscribe it would be really nice I do German and English videos right now in the future maybe more English videos um, if there is if there are some guys that, that want to watch it but yes that's it thank you very much for watching this long video and I hope you liked it and I see you soon bye bye